My name is Anthony Allen, welcome here to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to take you through the whole process of setting up your very own TransferWise account. So as mentioned in the introduction to this video, I'm going to be teaching you and taking you through the whole process of setting up your very own TransferWise account. If you enjoy this video at any point, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay notified about new uploads that I upload here on my YouTube channel. I'm now going to share my screen with you and take you through the whole process of setting up your very own TransferWise account. So here we are on the TransferWise official website. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to accept cookies. From here, you can see the home page. It says, the cheap, fast way to send money abroad. Join over 8 million people who get a real exchange rate with TransferWise. We're on average eight times cheaper than leading UK high street banks. And that is the USP, unique selling point transfer wise now to get started you can click get started but we're going to select register just to make sure that we go to the right place this is going to open a register window now you have two type of accounts you have a personal account and a business account now with other payment services in the comments section I do get asked quite often do I open a personal account or a business account Open a business account if you do not have a registered business that pays tax. Open a business account if you report business expenses and you pay tax. If you're not paying an annual business expense, there is no need for you to open a business account. If you're not paying VAT, there is no need to open a business account. And that is what I advise when opening up transfers and accounts like this. So we're going to select personal, which is already selected. From here, we're going to enter an email address and then we're going to enter create a password. Of course, if you have any questions or queries, do hit me in the comment section down below. It's also valid to mention that you can also continue with Apple, Google or Facebook. I do advise that you sign up with an email account. Reason being, when you sign up with Apple, Google or Facebook, if you lose access to any of those three, you won't be able to access your money or transfers. Try signing up with an email account that is connected to either of the three if you would like to connect a Facebook, for example. That's my advice. That way, you don't have to choose a partner that you trust more than the other. If you're a Google person, you can sign up with Google. Of course, this is all down to personal preference. But for security means, I'm going to sign up with an email account. I'm also now going to enter a password. Some of this information will be censored as it's sensitive information. You can see that when I've hovered over password, you need to enter a password that contains a letter and a number and a minimum of nine characters. That's better. Now that's a secure password, TransferWise says. <laughs> Once you've done this and you've selected your country of residence, basically the country in which you live in, or re currently reside in, as you might be living abroad, for example, you then select sign up. But before we do this, it's also valid to mention that you can have a look at the terms of use and the privacy policy. If you would like to have a look at these, but you're afraid to be navigating away from the page that you're currently on, hover over where it says 
terms of use, which is a hyperlink. Hold control and right click. You would then have the option to open this link in a new tab, a new window, or if you're worried about your privacy, in a new incognito, incognito window. This will allow me to click away from the page that I was on so I'm not navigating away. I'm simply opening up a new tab. I can then go through the customer agreements, privacy policy, cookie policy and more to learn more about the terms that I'm agreeing to when signing up to the transfer word, tra transfer wise service. Once I'm happy, I can click the X or the cross on this tab, which will close the tab. If I'm then happy with what I've read, I can sign up. Of course, looking at the terms of use is down to personal preference. Once you've done this and you've got to this stage, you want to immediately go to the email inbox in which you've signed up with. Once here, you confirm your email address. If you don't do this, you will be asked what transfer you would like to make. We're going to confirm our email address. Brilliant. Our email has now been verified. Use this email when logging into TransferWise. Select continue. That's much better. If you did not go directly to your email at that stage, you would be asked to make a transfer, which can be very jarring for a new user who's signing up for an account, rather than making an immediate payment or transfer. So now that we're on the TransferWise official website, we can do a few things. We can add a debit card, add recipients, or invite for referral rewards. My referral link will be down in the description below. If you would like to get started with TransferWise, please use my referral link as every payment will help me with this channel so that I can deliver more videos like this to you. Debit card. So now we're going to select debit card. You can also get a debit card from TransferWise. We're going to select debit card. So let's read about the debit card that TransferWise offers. You can spend in over 150 currencies. You can auto convert currency on the go, get instant notifications with the app at home, and you will also be able to take out money from ATMs anywhere with no withdrawal fees. And you can order your card today. Now let's select recipients. This will allow you to add a bank account. You will also be able to add a recipient. By selecting add bank account, you would go through the information. What you would do at this point is you would select your currency, select whether it's personal or business. In our case, we're gonna select personal. Enter your name. and then you would enter the relevant information. For example, sort code or account number. You can also download the TransferWise application. We're going to do this now and have a look at the app firsthand. The TransferWise application is free to download. Search for TransferWise in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Once downloaded, open the application. The first screen you will see in the TransferWise application is the login and register screen. There are some appetizing statements being made on this page and they are absolutely USPs of TransferWise. They talk about how it's cheaper to use TransferWise than your high street bank to send international payments. Because we have already registered our TransferWise account, we are going to select Login. On the login page, you are going to need to enter the email account and password you used when registering your TransferWise account. After you have successfully entered your TransferWise account, you can now add Touch ID. This is entirely optional and in this case is for faster login. 
If this isn't for you or your phone does not have a Touch ID available, you can select Not Now. To demonstrate how easy this is, I'm going to select Set Up Touch ID. Congratulations, you now have access to your TransferWise account via the mobile application. If you would like to send international payments and get started with TransferWise today, don't forget that I will be leaving my referral link in the description of this video. You can earn £75 when you refer three friends that transfer over £200. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, but don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay notified about new videos that I upload here on the Anthony Allen channel. And as well, don't forget to stay to the end of every video because I always have another video or playlist relating to the video that you're watching now. And chances are, 99% of the time, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, you're going to enjoy whatever is in the end card of this video and that end card is coming up right now you'll see me with the subscribe thing in my hand you can click that to subscribe you'll see it and you'll also see a playlist or video next to that that you can also click if you're already subscribed mm -hmm.